Charisma, can you do me a favor? Um, I put up your challenge statement here, which is how to get students to feel comfortable with disclosing bullying. For the, for the group, can you do me a favor, or for them, can you give us some more description or just briefly tell us about some more context around this challenge? Sure. Um, basically, I'm a uh, apartment assistant, which is the same as a resident assistant. Um, my residents, like a lot of times in their relationships, they have issues with bullying and bringing it up to us or like to a counselor and stuff. And there have been incidents where like um, in the last year where two girls tried to commit suicide because of it. Um, so yeah, I basically want to do like a bulletin board or a program around it to bring awareness to students and like, you know, have them speak up and feel comfortable, at least coming to us, I'm not a counselor. Okay, thanks. I'm going to open it up to the group for clarification. So if you have some questions for Charisma, feel free to ask her right now with regard to this challenge. Is, is, this, is this just regarding students? Is this a student? Yeah. Okay. Is, student. is it generally girls? Um, it could be guys too. So notice how Dr. Cabra leaves room to ask yeah, clarifying questions person. so people understand the challenge have stuff like on bullying but a lot of times residents don't even want to go to counseling we have to like push we usually walk them over there and like work with them until they feel comfortable so i rather like it come from us and then build on that and they don't need to know everything but they need to know enough so that they can be helpful as they generate i want to create a foundation for the use of this tool so if you were to imagine this being some, a recipe and you were to provide it specific ingredients that are related to this recipe, what would you give as the key ingredients that would describe aspects of this challenge? So what are some key attributes that comprise or make up this challenge? Comfort. Comfort. So he's getting some prompts up there that he can use, that they can use this challenge? Attributes, key ingredients, aspects of this challenge? Trust. Pardon? Trust. Trust. Okay. What else? Psychological Trust. safety. Psychological safety. Others that come to mind? Mental health. Mental health. Confidence. Thank you. Others? Loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. Support. Fear. Pardon? Fear. Fear. Support. So they're listing some. They're not really in a um, generating mode where they're following guidelines. It's just let's get some of these up. Of people, processes. <clears throat> Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Relationships. Relationships. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Guilt. Guilt. Bully free zone. Love and hate. Love and hate. Confidentiality. Pardon? Repercussions. Okay. That's good enough. All right. What I want to do is, as I shared with you, I want to have this uh, serve as a foundation to help us implement this scamper tool. And so, what I'm going to do is introduce to you a, an acronym. Sure. That so, we've got S for yeah. uh, substitute, C for combined, we have A for adapt, M is for modify. P is for put to other uses, E is for eliminate, and then R is for rearrange. And so in a second, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to use uh, an invitational stem that we use to implement this tool. And what you see here is when you think about, so the blank refers to whatever letter you want to use in this, in this tool. So you would be saying, when you think about substituting, what ideas do you get for solving this challenge here? All right. So 
how this works again, I'm going to ask you to go to your post-its and put an idea on each respective post-its. So using the word S, and then also using these key words that describe the key ingredients or attributes to this challenge, I want you to use this as a stimuli to help you to generate some ideas. So when you think about the word substituting, what ideas do you get for solving ways to get students to feel more comfortable with disclosing bullying? What ideas come to mind? And then so when you write them down, please say them out loud so that the group can hear. Actually helps the facilitators the stay within the language. Thank you, Michael. Others. And the scamper sheets were pre-prepared. Um, up with peers to talk to. Thanks, Krista. And again, you don't always have to do all the letters, but this is a nice example of it. Again, methodically done. Oh, one also come to mind. Letter after the other. Thanks. Build relationships with RAs. Thank you, Joe. Others. One on one counseling. Again, the facilitator is quiet, just helps prompt it when he needs it, doesn't repeat them. Um, reward system. Reward system. Talk to parents. Role play activities. Confidence can, and skill building. Can you read that one again, Krista? Role play activities. Okay. Writing a journal with your thoughts. Thanks, Anna. Social contract. Can you tell me more about the social contract? Um, something to type up about um, maybe like how to come to her if they're feeling like down or something or okay. depressed. Great. That makes, Krista, did you hear that one? Does that make sense in terms of the social contract? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You can also right, tell the client if you need a little phone. information to understand one, go ahead and ask for it. Take this last one. I saw a scribbling there. If you want, then I'll be the uh, last buddy one. Buddy system. All right, great. Okay, now I want to go to the next letter. When you think about combining, again, I'm asking you to consider these as, as a foundation for some thoughts to trigger more thoughts. When you think about combining, what ideas do you get for solving this challenge on how to get students to become more comfortable with disclosing that bullying is going on? What thoughts come to mind? Peer groups. Peer groups. Thank you. Combine the information presentations with pizza. Thanks, Mike. Peer pressure on the bullies. Peer pressure on the bullies. Thanks, Joe. Listen, listen, listen. Thanks. When you think about combining, what ideas do you get for solving the challenge and how to get students to become more comfortable with disclosing that bullying is happening? With them or with others? Create programs that discuss bullying and other topics as well. Have get to know you parties. Build personal relationships. Someone to share first in a group. And combine pain with poetry. Chris, I just want to do a check-in with you. With what we're generating up here, are there some things that at least are piquing your interest? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Other thoughts that come to mind? Uh, trust that there will be repercussions for bullying. Thanks. What else? Support group with best friends and make a peer support group. Add humor to overcome fear. Maybe a comedian. <coughs> You guys are doing great. I'm just looking at the numbers here. Fantastic. Keep them coming. What else? Again, praise in the process. Again, you can use this as your foundation, or if there's other thoughts to combine outside of this, it's fine. But when you think about combining, what ideas do you get for solving this challenge? And again, this serves as a, as a foundation when you can combine this with each other, with some of the words here, or any other words or things that come to mind as you think about this challenge. Bully 
Pick Anti a couple more. Role model. Mental health goals. And you don't have to spend the same amount of time on each letter. You can just see what the energy is, what the flow is. Ensure that there are psychological and physical safe, physically safe places at school. Thanks. And there seems to be a low. All right. Let me go on to the next one, letter A, with regard to adapting. When you think about adapting, that word, what ideas do you get for solving this challenge around um, disclosing that bullying is going on? So again, you can feel free to use this as a foundation. Again, the word is adapting. When you think about the word adapting, what ideas come to mind? And a confessional. Yes. Thanks, Mike. Understanding the motivation of the bullies. Thanks, Miriam. Adapt your schedule to help students. Great. Thanks. You guys are doing fantastic. Ask counselors to come to a student program. Thanks, Christy. We're up to 50 almost, so this is great. Other thoughts that come to mind. I want to share something with you. Sometimes uh, just a statement may not be um, something that might trigger the kind of thoughts you want, but I have here a series of scamper questions. So if I just, if you look at a question from a different angle, just rephrasing the question may be able to promote more ideas. So I'm going to hand this out. And so right now we're looking at the word adapt. And under that heading, there's like five or six questions with regard to adapting. So hopefully those questions, just rephrasing them, may promote other kinds of thoughts or trigger other thoughts. So this the facilitator might have and use different questions. In this case, he's given it to the resource group because they're trained, and they can refer to this if they need to spur more thoughts from that Right. This, this <clears throat> let's see, looks like it came from either Creativity cre Unbound. Right. Yeah. So, 559 materials. Benchmarking. Great. Thanks, Joe. Creating it gets, better, it gets Better program. Thanks. Guided from our age on a regular basis. Sure. Now, this one here, Mary, when you were thinking about uh, It Gets Better, can you tell me more about that? There's a, on YouTube, there's a thing for um, gay kids that are bullied, and it's all about people um, doing videos about what happened to them when they were kids and they're adults now and describing what their lives are like now. Okay. So it actually kind of puts, puts um, the kids kind of in a situation where they can see that it really does get better. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Other thoughts, Anna? Support activities with art. Bring Lady Gaga to your school. Great, thanks. Make the common room a safe space. Thanks, I'll take one more. Provide students who are bullied with time to play. Thanks. Okay, now let me move on to the letter M. So when you think about modifying, again, you can use this as a reference point. You also now have a list of questions you, so that if this doesn't help, then you can use the questions under the heading, you know, uh, modifying. When you think about modifying, what ideas do you get for solving um, Christmas challenge here with getting students to be more comfortable with disclosing bullying. Explain the downside of confidentiality. Right. Make it a fun program. Thanks. Other thoughts? How to shame the bullies. Share more words or magnify the words that people state that make bullying go away. Thank you, Sue. Fantastic. Keep going. Make a mailbox where students can drop notes to RAs. Great. Thanks. Introduce and begin the Obeyus bullying program. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Other thoughts? The role play on different types coming. of bullying and solutions. Use an anonymous comment box between A and residents. Thanks, Charisma. Introduce the second, second step program. Can you repeat that again? I don't know if you heard that charisma on this one. Introduce the second step program. The it's a program in elementary schools that oh. you describe. Okay. Okay. A series of workshops in leadership. Great. <clears throat> okay. 
Let's shoot for six more. Build confidence using creative activities. Okay. Thanks, Create Anna. a commercial for Buff State about students against bullying. Great. Okay, three more. Shoot for that. How to make bullies uncomfortable. Great. Take Thank you. Make positive interactions very visible as a model for everyday ways of operating. Okay, thanks, Sue. And uh, more? Mike, you put in one more? Are you Carissa? No, I'm <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, so now let's move on to the next letter, which is put to other uses. Again, uh, using this, if you want to use this as stimuli, um, when you think about putting to other uses, what ideas do you get for solving this respective challenge? So you can actually look at some of these words. You can look at the questions that are under the heading of putting to other uses. And what ideas come to mind? It's kind of like attribute listing. <clears throat> yeah, just additional prompts. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It does seem to be helpful, too. Put hateful words into, like, a wordle, mm -hmm. and then use that as a, as a model of what not to do. Okay. Thank you. Use art to help students express feelings. Great. Thanks, Christine. Have the victims teach others to stand up to bullies. Thanks, Joe. Promote on social networks about anti-bullying. And you want to keep checking Prisoner, in with your client. I'm going to do client. another check-in with Same. you because I checked here. Now we've had this many ideas generated. Is there something here that you think that as after we finish, there might be something we can work with? We can uh, something that's piqued your interest. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Other thoughts, Mike? Yeah, I need a paintball paintball game or paintball ring. Okay. Great. Activities to bolster self-esteem. Thanks, Anna. Brainstorm characteristics of bullies as a group. Others. How to make students loyal to each other. Sure. <clears throat> Shoot for about three or four more. Work on disclosing personal information as a norm so that everyone is sharing other things other than bullying to keep everybody open. Thanks, sir. Have students being bullied link up with students who used to be bullied. Use team building exercises to build trust. Thanks. Activities to build trust. All right. Work on overcoming fears. Okay. One more. Show how supportive you are. Thank you. Let me go on to the next one. Make oh, go ahead, Joe. Make what? I'm against bullying. Ask me buttons. Okay, uh, great, thanks. All right, now let me go on to the next one, E, which is eliminate. When you think about eliminating, again, you can use this as a foundation to help trigger some thoughts. What ideas do you get for solving uh, Christmas challenge that's stated up here? What thoughts come to mind when the word eliminating is used? So he's, he's very thorough, making sure to repeat the the question give around you when you think of this word, what ideas does it give you for the challenge? The other thing, if you don't have a trained group, is you actually can restate okay. the word eliminate in a couple different ways. And that sometimes helps. Thanks. What can you get rid of? What can you eliminate? So what can you remove? Yeah. Others. Thank you. How to get students to feel comfortable with disclosing anything? All right. Eliminate the fear of fear. Thanks, Joe. I had an idea came into my head, but it belongs under combined. Can I do That's that? fine, yeah, of course. Make a college handbook based on real life experiences on handling bullying. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Under combined. And again, it's not critical that it actually goes where the letter is. Uh, but you can see he acknowledges that person's request. All right. That's a good thing for people to know, too. You're still deferring judgment, so whatever comes to your mind goes up. Any negative postings that are seen on the social networks? Thanks. Eliminate friends being afraid to speak up. Thanks, Krista. Eliminate the lack of knowledge about the repercussions. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joe. Okay. All right, let's go on to the last one. Uh, this word, this letter represents rearranging. 
So when you think about rearranging, again, if you were to rearrange any of these words or using some of the questions that are under the heading, rearrange on your sheet that I passed out, what ideas do you get for solving Charisma's challenge here? Again, rearranging, using the word rearranging in mind. Give the bully positive reinforcement for his or her actions. Thank you, Mike. Great workshops to help students build confidence. Thank you. It's a work situation or something on campus. You know, change the assignments of people who feel uncomfortable or people who are bullying as Great. well. Could be a piggyback Thanks, off of that. Yeah. <clears throat> Mandatory right, bully rehab <coughs> class. Thanks, Jeff. Others, keep them going. Come on. How to get students to support the Disclosing Bully Initiative. Thanks. That's the piggyback off of the other one. Change, Change the bully. Okay. All right. Thanks. A few more? Create ways to have the bully feel the same way as the person they bully. Collaborate with Council Center to put help on anti-bullying. Thanks. Charisma. A few more. A few four. I've um, removed the bully um, through affecting their grades and things like why they're in college in the first place. They get actually punished via their classes. Thanks. Good. Others. Teach bully how to become anti-bully. Have students take turns monitoring residence halls for bullying. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Kristen. Create three credit hour class on bullying. All right. Embarrass the bully. Embarrass the bully. Thanks. Okay, I got a couple more and then we'll stop and then. How to ensure that students uh, trust that something will happen when disclosing the bully? One on one sessions with residents to help them feel comfortable with RA to come to them for help. Thanks. And build with emotions training. Great. Thanks. Make okay. bullies do service work. Thanks. All right. I want to do one more thing. And uh, let me see. There's one that struck me. Let me see. Um, Mike, when you said this reverse, give the bully positive reinforcement <coughs> for actions, did you say for actions involving actually bullying? That was the intent. Okay. What I want to do is take this, this idea um, that is wild in terms of just looking at the essence of the idea. And I'm going to hearken back to Alex Osborne said it's easier to tame down a wild idea than it is to invigorate an old and, and tried one. So I want you to think about this for a moment. But here you have giving the bully positive reinforcement for actually doing bullying. If you were to take something that's so radical and so way out there and actually unsettling, how might you take something that's as wild and ground it in a way that you can actually get some practical and useful and settling kinds of ideas just to have this as your stimuli? What thoughts come to mind? You do it on this? Yes, oh. on the post. Yeah, one post. Use sarcasm. Use sarcasm. Okay. And sarcasm would be, tell me more, with, with the actual... So that you're actually uh, uh, pretending like you're getting, you know, like you allow the bullying, but you're actually being so overboard that it would, it makes a fool out of the bully. Great. Right. Thanks. Other thoughts that come to mind? Take kill, him, me. kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Are you writing that? <laughs> <laughs> shock, shock them. Shock them. And then shock them when you had this in mind, what shock. came? Um, that on. they would just be like so surprised by your... Um, like praise that they might think twice about what they did. Ah, okay. Thank praise you. Praise until they're embarrassed in front of everyone. Thanks, Joe. Other thoughts? Um, make them wear actual sandwich boards that that actually um, they stand in public and declare what they've done ah. and so that people have to read it. Yes. That was like something recently. Yeah. I saw yeah. that woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, right. That's exactly what I saw. Yep. It would be to, to use that positive reinforcement to set up a role-playing experience. Thanks. Thanks, Mel. Just keep going. Yeah? What's that, Charisma? 
That's a bright smile. Like when you smile at people, sometimes they make them want to warm up their heart. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so he's, sure. I see he already had the extra blank sheet up there, so he could go right to it. Thanks. We want to get all those sheets more? numbered, sure. so the process buddy could do that at the end if it didn't happen during. Okay. And now if I had the time, what I would do is look for more unsettling ideas and do the same thing that I did just now and try to get more something more settling or more grounded. You have another one? Tell her mama. Tell her mama. <laughs> Great. Okay. I um, just want to thank the group for the effort. I mean, you just look at this, and uh, there's a lot up here. And I checked in a couple of times. I think there's something that, from what I'm hearing you say, there are some things you can work here with. Great. Thank you very much. It's great. We have Scamper. We have Scamper. And, the, and there you had uh, Dr. Cobber going very methodically through each one, the S, the C, the A, the M, P, P E, R, um, sort of a formal making sure you hit upon each one. Um, some things he did, he, he started with some attributes um, and also provided the participants, the resource group members, with additional ways of framing those questions. So he, he handed out the handout. Um, in actuality, sometimes y you might skip some of those letters. You might focus on a couple of them. Um, and you might mix it up. So. Uh, in this one, he went with the whole group, but sometimes you might uh, pair people up. You might give a group. You work on uh, S, substitute, and combine this group, um, rearrange, eliminate. Now, this was a very trained group, so they would have gone along. But, but there are, are ways as you get more advanced to sort of vary the tool. This is that one that you can really play with. and You can a lot of, do a lot of things with, and it can go formally or informally. And uh, one, of the, one of the things about putting the letters up there is you're really bound by the space you have right. when you put the letters up there. Now, you don't have to. You notice he went past a little bit on some. And in this case, he knew he wasn't going to need a whole lot of space for them. And because they're so well trained, they were going to generate for each one. Right. We're pretty sure of that. That doesn't always happen. I've seen with new facilitators where they put the letters up and then they're, they're, it kind of is a pause and people aren't quite sure and nothing much happens from that letter. And then another letter goes on and on and pretty soon they don't have room for their other letter. So I hesitate sometimes to have a new facilitator put the letters up because you can put the letter up as you go. Or, like you say, oftentimes it's much more effective to use in a more natural way during a session when you need to throw something else in. Or, or use the letters that, as a trained facilitator, you know will really hit and spur ideas for that particular uh, statement that you're working on. Because statements are different, therefore letters work differently. Right. Scamper. That is scamper. Scamper.